In my experience, success was introduced to me as a concept at a very young age. And as a concept, success was introduced to me as playing games. And you either won the game or you lost the game. And there was a set amount of time that you played the game. The game began and, the game, and then the game ended. And then at the end, you find out, did you lose or did you win? So this is how I was raised in thinking about success, success and winning being the same. And what I am feeling very guided to share with you is an activation to change that belief slightly. Now, I'm not trying to say that there's all that much wrong with um, with that learning experience. It's actually given me quite a bit of tools and a competitive edge and an aggressiveness to go after life in a way that maybe I wouldn't have if that wouldn't have been introduced to me. But what I've come to learn and what I've come to alter as I have really spent quite a bit of time in conversation with the energy of success and with successful people and with that stream of consciousness that says, I am success, I am fully available to you now. What I've come to realize in that relationship and my own journey with this idea of success is that when you are ready, success approaches you and says, are you ready to learn from me now? At a certain point in your consciousness and on your journey of ascension, you uh, might find yourself learning from really, really hard experiences. Does that sound familiar to anyone? I have learned from some excruciatingly painful experiences, those sort of rock bottom moments. And it's in those moments, which maybe some of you have had those this year, like this video, if you've had some rock bottom moments just in the past 12 months, just in the past six months, just in the past 30 days, I honor your journey and I honor your courage to be able to go to those depths within yourself and to allow yourself to actually feel that that is real for you. First of all, thank you. Thank you for doing that. By doing that, you are then inviting success to come in and teach you. Now, how does that work? How does that make sense? That doesn't seem very connected. Well, let's talk about that. For a very long time, I thought if I wasn't winning, I wasn't successful. And that is just how I was functioning through life. And to make that even worse, looking for validation from something outside of myself to tell me, yes, good job. You've completed this very, very well. Here's the grade. I don't even care if it was, if it was like a C. I don't even care. I just want, the, I want someone to tell me, am I doing this thing right? I was wandering for a very, very long time. Can you relate to that feeling? When it really, when you really start to wake up and you start to realize, oh my God, nobody's gonna tell me if I'm doing the right thing or not, really. And I can search after all sorts of people to try to validate that, that my very existence is okay. And then you realize like, oh God, like that's not happening. Well, here might be a reason why. Here is what I have discovered that I want to offer you today. You have an opportunity after all of that to allow success to be your mentor now. Usually when we think about success, we think about some sort of end game, right? Where it's either a win or a lose. And I'm just here to tell you that that is not what success is. That is not what success is. Success is teaming up with your higher self and saying like, okay, we're going on this journey and it never ends. When we understand that this is a journey and we do need to show up for it as, as fully as we can every day because the, the, the amount of time we have here is just not, it's just not a guarantee. Every day is that moment to start experiencing success. Some of the things that I found 
that got in the way of when I was ready to start learning from success and make success my master teacher instead of making painful experiences, embarrassing experiences, um, humiliating experiences be my teacher. I bow to those teachers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have learned so much from you. I would prefer to learn from success now. So that's that's one of the steps, right? That's one of the things we have to get to. This, the next phase though, is that there's probably an inner child within you that really needs a conversation with you about getting on the same team and not competing against each other. And um, because I reached a point where my inner child I would come to a super, here's an example, I would come to a super clear decision, right? I'm writing a book right now, and I took a writing retreat for myself to really get focused on this book and to really work through some very big decisions with this book. And I came to one of those decisions one evening, and it felt like such a yes, it felt so aligned and so guided, and it was a yes right? It was a sacred yes that I was agreeing to. And I wrote it down and I made the plans and I did all the things that I felt really good about making sure that that step was going to be seen through. But then I hear a voice from within my consciousness that says, but what if I don't want to? But what if I don't want to? And in that moment, I realized, <laughs> oh my God, not all of me is on this, is on my highest success team right now. Have you guys ever had that moment? It's like the self-sabotage wants to come up and it wants to have a conversation. And usually that conversation set for me, it sounded something like, like, what if I don't want to? Like, you can't make me. Bye. I don't want to, I don't want to work with you. You never give me any attention. I have no, no desire at helping you with that massive, massive, beautiful step towards getting that book published. No. And it was just like, oh my God, okay. Um, well, who are you? Like, what's going on? So, I, so we'll make another video on how to go through that process. But I bring that story up as an example to what it really takes to get the fullness of yourself deciding that it is going to learn from success now as your new master teacher going into this upcoming year. This is what I want you and all of us and myself, I want all of us to really start to embrace that what, what does success mean to you? For me, what that means for me is that I have, I have options, I have freedom, I have so much freedom in how I'm creating my schedule right now for myself. It is something, oh my God, in my early 20s, if I would have had this much freedom, and now I have a lot more responsibilities than I did then, now, but oh my gosh, the amount of time freedom that we are experiencing right now, yes, yes to that, yes to creating our own schedules, yes to filling those schedules that things with things that are for our highest good. You know, the amount of time freedom that you have, the amount, like all of the options that you have right now, all of that, you know, start to write out lists of the opportunities that you do have, the things that you could do if you wanted to. You could commit to going on a walk every day after lunch. You could do that. You could commit to reading that book series that you've always wanted to read. You could commit to, the, the list goes on and on, right? There are so many things that you could do if you wanted to do right now. So you have options. And when you have options, that means that you have success. When you have options, that means you have success around you. It's a decision. It's a decision on how much you are willing to love yourself in the face of, of needing to get really organized in your life. Success looks like consistency. It looks like not giving up. It looks like having courage to just get back up off of that rock bottom floor, which I have some experience with, you guys. I know what it takes. I know the the breaks in um 
in your mind that you can experience. I know the rage that can come through. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to ask my husband to please pull over the car because I have to get out and scream right now. And that's, that's just my purity, you guys. That's just purely, that's purely what that looks like. And, but by saying yes to that purity within you and to the, the yes that comes through in those options that you start to list out. And when you have a yes to one of those, and then there's, you know, then commitment starts and discipline starts. This is like, this is the divine masculine energy that I am praying for right now. And I'm starting to see it, um, I'm starting to see it in my life, okay? So I know that it's possible. If it's possible for me, I have to get here and I have to tell you that it's possible for you. Like, I'm so excited for you because you, you have, you, you found this video, you know, welcome. Like, oh my God, I'm so, like, I'm so grateful that you're, that you're watching this in this moment. It literally makes me so happy because I know that you are looking for a better way for yourself. So what I wanna do right now is I want to bring in that activation of the purity of your success, which is, it's your birthright. It's already yours. That is, that's, that's, this is already yours. And what's going to be so fascinating about the next decade. What's gonna be so fascinating about this is that there's gonna be so many moments of almost shock, is how I'm seeing it, just jaw-dropping shock at that awakening moment when you remember that everything you've ever wanted to feel is available to you in physical form. And that th that is that is going to start to sink in that you have a choice. You you have the choice to decide that success will be your new master teacher if you choose it to be. Maybe you're learning from other master teachers of divine qualities, and that's fabulous. That is fabulous. But when you are ready to feel really successful about how you've been showing up, this is, this is the activation. And I would really encourage you to come back and listen to this as many times as you need to. I'll try to timestamp when we get in, you know, get into the meditative state here. But I want you to take some deep breaths with me. I want you to take five deep breaths. And I want you to listen to my voice while you simultaneously hear yourself inhaling and you listen to yourself exhaling and I want you to become very lucid at the sensation of the inhale and the sensation of the exhale. How are they similar and how are they the same? Or how are they similar and how are they different? So keep taking those nice deep breaths. And I want you to invoke the little child within you who is so excited to be here and really excited to learn about what this whole success thing is all about because they're seeing people win and lose and they're just really ready to have a conversation with you about what that looks like. What I want you to tell that little child that is you, and I want this to come from your heart, is that success means when we decide to choose loving ourselves more than loving ourselves less. In this moment, choosing to love yourself even more and choosing to embrace yourself and embrace all of your experiences that you've had, that is really what success is. It's the embrace. It's the embrace of the present moment. It's the embrace of the challenge. It's the embrace of the inner courage. 
It's the embrace of forgiveness. It's the embrace of goodness in your life and the goodness of what is inside of you wanting to be externalized. More love and not less. And I want you to spend more time after this video going deeper in conversation with those inner aspects of your inner child, of, of your innocence, and maybe of that rebel teenager that showed up so strongly at my door when I had a big breakthrough and she was not coming along. Now, I, I want you to really take some time with yourself and maybe have a journal and a pen that you love to write with and I would love for you to have a back and forth conversation with that inner child. And by doing that, by taking that step, that very simple step, sitting down with some pen and paper and having that conversation, how much you, and if you don't know what to say, I love you so much. I am so grateful for you. I am so grateful for everything that you were willing to experience in that little body in this really big world. It's really, really confusing here sometimes. And man, we are still here and I love you and I'm grateful for you. Just pour that sort of parent love, right? Divine mother, divine father, love to yourself and the more that you do that and the more that you embrace practices like that the more that this is going to activate in your real life i choose to learn from success now i choose to prosper in success now i choose to be success now I choose to stand in success. I choose to walk in success. You're doing a great job. And I'm really sorry if not, you don't have more people telling you that on a daily basis that you're doing a great job. It's okay if if you're still learning. <laughs> That's what we're all here doing. We are all here still learning. We're, you know, life is throwing some really big deal moments at us and it's okay that you need to take a minute and really learn about how am I going to go about this in maybe a new way? How am I going to allow myself to evolve? That is really required right now. <laughs> the more comfortable you can become with that process and rinse and repeating that process. Have a conversation with your inner little. Have a conversation with your future successful self. Be brave and have these conversations and invoke success as your new mentor for the upcoming year and commit to it, stay consistent with it. It will be challenging. There will be challenges that come up with that, right? You might even have days where you're like, this is hard. I don't wanna do this, this is really hard. And it's like, I know, yeah, I know, but you said you would. You said you would do it. So what do you need? Do you need some hot tea with honey? Do you need, like, what do you need? But we have to do that because we said we would do it. So we have to do it. We're going to get up and we're going to go and we're going to do that thing that we said we were going to do. And very gently, you pick up all those littles inside of you and you just, you take one step and another step and you, you know, you, you get in the shower, you do, you go, you take those heavy steps. I know you can do it, and I know this is your year to do it. You're gonna do it. I know you will. It's gonna be amazing. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video if this was helpful. I love you. 
Let me know if there's any other topics or questions that you have because that would make me so excited to answer them. That would be that would be really really fun if I knew exactly like what would be really helpful to talk about right now. That would be like that would be the best. So um, I totally welcome that. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. May your life be blessed with the miracles only you could be so brilliant to command. So be it.